Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be opening up here two more of the Paldea collection. This is just going to be really awesome because I have finally found a Sprigatito. So last time we opened up a one Quaxley and we opened up one for Coco Box. But uh, this time I managed to actually find a Sprigatito, which was the one I was really looking for as well. Which is definitely fantastic because obviously these particular boxes they do provide you with actual pins itself. So being able to collect all three, definitely fantastic. Something that uh, you might not always notice is also the fact that the promo cards themselves for these starters, you can actually get uh, alternate artworks for all of them. So I believe there are only two alternate versions of each and that way it won't be too difficult to collect. But with that being said, it is something that is really fun to note with, but uh, yeah, as for the Jumbo cards, I was also really disappointed to find that there were only Miraidons as well. I couldn't find Coridon, which is meant to be your other promo as well. So, being that uh, Miraidon is seemingly the least popular one, it does seem like we will be <laughs> getting a lot of Miraidons uh, out there. and. Recently, I have been seeing more of these particular products actually in stores, but I've only seen the ones where they actually have Mirite on as the Jumbo card, which is uh, kind of a disappointment because I would like to also get Karite on as well. Uh, but with that being said, there's nothing we can really do about it. Just hope that you can find uh, the one that you actually want. However, with that being said, there are four packs per box, so it's going to be really fun to see. Uh, which one uh, stacks better against the other. So with that being said, let's get everything opened up and see what we have. Alright, so here is the... Well, here is everything opened up and... We have over here our promo cards, which we'll take a look at first. I'll set the packs just aside for the time being, and we'll come back to that later. Uh, but with that being said, here are the promos. We also have the code here, so if you guys are actually interested in the code itself for the actual online TCG, then I uh, hope you guys enjoy that one. But with that being said, here are our promos. You can see that we definitely do have some different varieties here. I do see that the Quaxleys are the exact same, but uh, we could see the Fococos are different in artwork and the Sprigatitos as well. Definitely fantastic there. However, let's set each box aside. Uh, this side obviously being our Sprigatito box. Uh, first time we're actually seeing the pin here. So absolutely loving that. Um, yeah, quite wonderful there. And of course we have our Fukoko as well for anyone who hasn't seen the first video. But definitely check out the uh, previous opening for this as well because I would have also opened up uh, the Quaxley box and the other Fukoko box as well. But uh, with that being said, we do have our Miraidon card. Um, our Jumbo card that is. Unfortunately, we don't get a small tiny promo version of it to actually use in gameplay. But that's okay, we do have the Jumbo version, just a nice card to add to the actual collection itself. So, now let's see what packs we actually have here. Uh, we have our four packs of each. Uh, we have some Brilliant Stars and we have some Silver Tempest. So, let's just uh, get started and see what we actually have. I'm going to begin with uh, maybe Brilliant Stars and let's see how we actually do here. We have a Whimsy Cot to begin with. Uh, this is definitely going to be really fun to see uh, what we actually have. So here's the code card for you guys. And I'm going to take the top four, move it to the bottom, and let's see how we actually go in this one. So I'm not too familiar with the newer sets here, like Silver Tempest or Brilliant Stars. So it is going to be fun just to see what cards are actually in here. We have over here our Reverse Rare Tropius, and we have a Star Raptor as our regular rare. So nothing particularly special to start off with, but that's okay. We can always build our way up to it. Let's open up over here our Arceus Brilliant Stars pack as well. This is for the Fukoko side. And let's find out uh, what we have in this particular pack. So here's the code card for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy that one. 
take the top four cards, move it to the bottom, and let's find out what we have in this particular one here. So again, uh, just really interesting to see what cards we could actually get. Uh, I'm more of a player than a collector in the game, so it is always fun to see what uh, kind of trainers we actually have here. So we have a Moltres, which is pretty fun for a uh, reverse holo, and we have a Magmortar as our regular rare. So, so far, uh, just pretty plain and simple with what we have so far. Uh, but let's open up uh, the next one here. This is uh, one of the Reggie monsters. Uh, I forgot what the name was called. It was like Reggie... Reggie Raptor or something? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but we're just going to see because we do have two versions of it. We have uh, one for um, the uh, Sprigatito side and also one for the... Uh, the Fukuoka side as well. So let's see what we actually have in this particular pack here. Now, when it comes to these big types of boxes, I don't particularly find that I have the best of luck in getting stuff. But hey, here we have a full art Flappy uh, Hollow. You know, I'll take that. It's not particularly rare or anything like that, but it is definitely very nice here. Uh, being able to get that additional artwork as well with a trainer. Uh, so that's fantastic, and we have here uh, Hisuane uh, Bravery, which is not particularly special, but I will set this aside because it is something I think is uh, quite a significant uh, piece of art to behold. But with that being said, let's move on to the Silver Tempest side for Fukuoka. And let's get this opened up and see what we actually have in this particular one. So here's the code for you guys, and let's see what we have in this particular pack. Uh, Lance, a very nice and interesting card. Uh, can't wait to actually see what each of these trainers actually can do. So we have uh, Runiclus, a new Pokemon, I've never actually seen this one before, in our Reverse Hollow, and we have a Cobalion. Uh, Cobalion. So, not too bad, but again, just a regular rare. So far, wouldn't say it's the most overwhelming thing out there, but uh, hey, who knows, maybe that can change later on. Let's go back to Brilliant Stars. We have uh, Shaman here on uh, Sprigatito's side, so let's find out what we actually have in this particular pack. Alrighty. So here's the code card for you guys, hope you enjoy. And we are going to see what we have in this particular one. So, let's see. We have some very interesting artwork here. Uh, we have a Mogram, or Morgram, very interesting, in Reverse Hollow. And we have a Flygon, so another regular rare. Again, similar case, I just don't have the greatest luck in this uh, particular types of products, you know. In these particular, like, box types, it's more of the novelty, it's more of the pins, if you really just wanted to collect the pins, really like the novelty of it, then that's great, but honestly, in terms of the ratios, the pull rates, uh, not particularly the most amazing uh, in any of these, so there's a chance we might not be able to get anything at all, but, you know, you can't look at things that way, uh, always hope that, you know, you could always get something interesting here. We have a Collapse Stadium in a Reverse Hollow, and we have a uh, Tridigon, which is, again, not particularly great, but we do have one more pack for each side, so let's hope uh, we could actually pull something really amazing just to end things off really strongly. Maybe we can get lucky here, so let's uh, whip this open, and let's see how we go. Alrighty, so I do feel good about this particular pack here, let's hope that we can actually get something interesting. Um, alrighty, a Noibat as our reverse holo, very nice, and whoa, there we go, look at that, we have a Lugia V-Star, this is a gold card, uh, and it happens to actually be in a Lugia Silver Tempest pack, so definitely really nice here. That is a really good finish to the Sprigatito box. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, definitely an awesome card. I love it. I mean, that is amazing. 
Wow. So uh, there we go. You know, I, I I just thought that we would do pretty poorly, and uh, turns out we actually did pretty amazingly here with a Lugia V Star. That's pretty awesome. So one more pack. Let's see if the Fukuoka side could actually uh, keep up as well. You know, and see how we go on this one. All right. So here's our code card, and let's see how we go in this particular pack here. Now, it is a pretty pricey box, it is like 40 bucks, so you are spending a lot of money just to get these cards, but like I said, it is ultimately the novelty of the actual set itself. But uh, we do have over here Archon, which is our reverse holo, and a Delphox as our regular rare, so nothing in the Fukuoka side. Little disappointing there, but that's okay. In the Sprigatito side, we did get uh, two significant cards here. Lugia V-Star and we also got Flappy as well. I think that's fantastic. Um, did it really make up for the 80 bucks that I spent on both of these? Maybe not, but you know, it's just part of the fun. And it's always something that is kind of worth doing uh, at least once, you know, so. Yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this particular video, and I hope you guys get uh, some amazing pulls in your packs as well. But with that being said, hope you have a great day. I'll see you all next time.